Hello, everyone. How goes it this evening? I'm doing pretty decent myself. Let's get back to hunting them their shiny Pokemon. How about? I think that sounds like a pretty good plan. Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah. So, let's quickly... Uh, holy time music's just a tad more. There we go. So let's remind ourselves of a few things. Zigzagoon, we're at 143. So, you know, not the best shiny odds at the moment. And Yamper, we're nearly there. A bit higher. Ah. Sure, why not? It's hard. Audio balancing is hard, guys. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know how it is. So let's just jump right back into it. Let's hope we uh, get better spot where it's like this puppy right here. Let's not run to a dry streak immediately. How about? I thought it went backwards in the soundtrack for it, but, but this is slightly different Toad Town. That's yeah, so right, get out of here, squirrels. We're terrorizing the wildlife immediately. That is a dog. Okay. It was hard to tell. Maybe we do need to turn down this a bit. It sounded quiet at first until we got to the actual battles. Again, audio is hard. Like when I'm editing stuff, I think I spend more time on audio balancing than mostly anything else, really. Make sure everything else is good. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're fine. That's a dog right there. Turtle. That's a glowy turtle. Save it from that Super Saiyan turtle. Bad news. Hey, there we go. Okay, and yeah, as I expected, we take. Very quick second to 
change the font size a little bit. That's a bit much. Oh, there really is no middle ground, is there? Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I do gotta change the... It's weird that there's no in-between for this. Sure. That looks fine. Good enough. We're gonna slowly get your numbers up there. Like mid 100s now. This turtle is on a mission. He will not stop. And so he's spoken, I'm really determined. Hey, look at you. This turtle, dude. Unstoppable. These squirrels are very stoppable, though.
Come on, bike. Be good, bike. Be good. Too many burbs. I hit out a third counter for how many times I've hit something else because of the dumb bike. Triple squirrel, more like triple get out of here. The chair is being very loud today, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to get in a comfy position, but my chair is like, eh, not feeling like it today. Oh, hi, doggy. We're slowly but surely getting to the point where we no longer have to murder these dogs. And just run and make the process a lot easier. You know, let's double check on that, and we'll know what count we'll be at, and we can stop doing it. Okay, it's still pretty far away, but, you know. So, 72. 185 plus 72 is 257 if I can math tonight so if we when we get that far assuming I don't forget to add the counter then we can just start running from the dogs because we've maxed out the shiny chance definitely makes some things a lot easier bird Please don't bird, please leave. There we go. Oh, it's even better. I was gonna like just go back to the grass, but he just poofed out of existence right in front of my eyes. Speaking of poofing out of existence, get out of here, squirrel. Hey, that's a thing I need.
you to answer text real quick. Ah, come on. Gotta love this bike. There we go. Worth the wait for a dog. Oh, we getting spooky, boys. Spooky December. Out of here, squirrels. Hey. You're a glowy one. You're glowy boy. Sadly, you must go down. Oh, banger alert. That'll help us get through this. Another one bites the dust. I could just have that playing on loop in the background, but that's copyrighted.
That turtle will not rest until it gets me. But maybe if I get rid of it, it'll be replaced with something else. Ah, I missed. Oh, and I'm gonna miss again. Rock slide's good, but... I mean... I also need to replace body press at some point. Wait, that's a dog. That was a turtle, but it's a dog. I was sorely mistaken. So aside from the normal counter for two Pokemon, it's looked like we'll need two additional counters. One for how many Pokemon have been countered because of the bike. And another counter for how many times my moves miss. Okay, thank you for hitting that time. Curse only applied to like two of my Pokemon. Actually, my Rotom will, uh, well, well, we may get there. Now, Rotom has a few moves that, uh, don't hit very often. And under normal circumstances. But they do hit more often in the Battle Tower. So it's not especially viable for general use. But, you know. Getting lucky with the spawns today. I know I'm gonna jink myself by saying that, but... Getting a good amount of spawns. Okay, dog's gone. Dog's back! I didn't see the turtle for a second. There's only one thing there. Oh, I hit the hit the grass. You're not what I'm looking for in any capacity. You're out.
Hey, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. We are back at the grind again. Slowly but surely getting Yamper up to a point where we can stop killing it. Zigzagoon's still got a quite a way to go. These turtles today, they're just so determined to come after me. Still hunting too? Yeah. Switch to Master Method, though? Yeah. I mean, it changes things up a bit, so it's not as repetitive. I mean, it's still going to be repetitive, but you're not just encountering things over and over again. It's slightly different. Oh, baby, a triple squirrel. Triple squirrel is just a free reroll. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean about that? Because that, that sounds kind of kind of dumb if that's true. Because hmm. that seems very counterintuitive. Because I don't think the the official Pokemon one mentioned anything like that. Let me see here. See, the official Pokemon page that said it. It doesn't mention a percentage. I don't know where anyone got that percentage thing from since the Pokemon thing just only says you just have a six times chance of shiny Pokemon at 500. Hmm. I don't know. 
I'm just gonna go... <laughs> keep going with the murdering spree for now. I mean, it's working well for other people, so... Yay, more bots. I heard you a mile away. Squirrel. Another squirrel. Okay. Wow, triple squirrel again. Oh my god. Eight squirrels in a row. That's amazing. Now those are some odds. Just having eight squabbits spawn in a row. I mean, yes, I know they're, like, the most common spawn, but still. Two hundred. Yep, dog. I am almost at 500 for Amper. Yes. 
I'm around like 50 away or so. Assuming I mathed correctly. You know, let me double check. Oh, hey, 444. Four. Yeah, so we got 56 left. Oh, so my math was right. Yay. At the beginning of the stream, I was like, when I get to 257 on Yamper, then I'll be at 500. I'm glad I uh, am still decent at math. This is getting still got a long way to go. Because the number that's on the screen is very close to what Zigzagoon actually is at right now. Yep. Hey, we got two of the things. Let's wait here and see what we get. Nah.
The elk were close. That's what they all say. But I believe in you. Yeah, here, double squirrel. Dog. Saw you. I'll just let you get away. Hey, Rondi, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by. <sighs> Day three into our search for these shinies. We are making progress, which is good, but... Doing swell, that's good. Dog heard you.
And for some reason, it feels weird that, like, the Switch has a YouTube app. I mean, it makes sense, but it just feels a bit weird. Triple Squirrel, get out of here. Oh yeah, you're right. That Switch doesn't really have streaming services on it. There's a dog. Found you. See you, dog. Bork. They have a dog and a sheep in this game. The dog goes bark and the sheep goes ba. Not very Pokemon sounds, but I mean, it's a dog and a sheep. I mean, you have bark and then ba, and then you have dee 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 woo. So I mean, Pokemon always just run the gambit from a sheep to Cricketune. <laughs> yeah, dog doesn't go. Adja! Yeah, you say, save that for other Pokemon. I mean, it's a dog. Correction on that note. Let me open this up real quick, because... That's also a bark. Okay, dog continues to go bark. And there's more dog. That's less of one. Okay, it's a bit less of a bark. But it is also from Gen 1. But then we return to... Nope, that's it. That's not it. Bark and Bork. Puppy Pokemon. Dog Pokemon. Duraludon. Uh, 
I was actually thinking of going with shiny po uh, the Galarian Ponyta first, but I'll definitely put that on the list because it is a cool Pokemon. Oh yeah, selfie boy. <laughs> I can say well about some of the characters, but at least this game does continue the tradition that I do like in Pokemon, where the gym leaders are actually more active in the plot. Like, you just you don't go to their gym, fight them, and then you never see them again. I do appreciate that about some of these games. I'm glad that this, uh, this generation is continuing that. Mr. Rhyme is pretty amazing, yeah. Oh, you go from Mr. Mime to, like, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, they feel like people. They don't just give you plot progression, that's it. I really do appreciate that when characters are actually characters. Like, well, like not only do, they, do you refight them later and battle alongside them later, it's like the first three. It's just the first three gym leaders. But I mean that they come and see you off. Like, as opposed to just, hey, there's Brock, you fight him, and then you leave, and then you never see him again. I really do appreciate the, that they made them characters. It's small, but... I mean, Piers is really great in that regard. <laughs> other than just being great because he's Piers. I mean, other than that... Hey, Bonnie. <laughs> I agree. Piers is great. I do wish Marnie was more involved in the plot. They could have done a lot more with her. But instead you fight Hop like 
ten times. And that's not even exaggeration, I don't think. Oh, I got strip a turtle. Yeah, unfortunately, she is just kind of there. exist to make peers look cooler. I can see that. <laughs> like in, uh, in all the trailers and Nintendo Directs. It's like, like, oh, Team Yell is like a bunch of group of fans. I feel like, oh, she's going to be important in the story, but... Yeah. Yeah, I do love Marnie as a character, but like... She doesn't do that much. Like, I thought, oh, she's going to be pretty big in the story if... The evil team is her fans, but... I mean... But no, instead we get a bunch of bird up. <laughs> instead we get, you know what? Let's look it up. How many times do you battle hop in the game? It's gotta be, I said 10, but that might be pushing a tiny bit. Okay. John Serebi, what do you say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times in the main story. And then... Two more times in the post-game. So it is ten times. John Serby has so much work, I know. Yes, Bonnie, you were right. It was at least two. I don't think any other rival fights you as much. As Hop does. Like, even in Gen 5, when you had two rivals, I don't think they battled you as much as Hop does. X and Y, like, four rivals. Yeah. I mean, Callum slash Serena, you would fight them more, but... I can definitely see why. Sure, I forgot the rival next one. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people forgot them. They saw black and white. It's like, all right, you got uh, you got Sharon and Bianca. Hey, you you know what's fun about having two rivals, doubling them. Whereas Sharon and Bianca got a good amount of character development. When you have four rivals that keep showing up, I mean, you get a tiny bit. But it's a lot to keep track of. I can definitely see why a lot of people hate Hop in this game. Because you fight him ten times. And without fail, every single battle, if you get a critical hit or hit with a super effective move... He lets you know. He sure does let you know. Dealing with that ten times. Well, 
lot of people blowing through the story system twice a day. At least. Like, I've seen some people's stream playthroughs, and they go for a while, so every now and then they're like, oh, Great, Hop wants to battle again. And people that just, like, blow through the game have, like, a much worse experience with Hop. That is a problem with, like, binging story-based games, because I think it was, uh... Funny enough, I think it was, uh, 999 that I was thinking of, where they remind you very often of certain things, and it's because it was on the DS, and you don't normally blow through an entire game in one sitting. So if you blow through the entire game in one sitting, of course you're gonna remember the story stuff, and they repeat a lot. Hey, Randy, thanks for the resub. Yeah, Hop's team did change. Because, like, I'm gonna change it up, and they realized, oh, wait a minute. that That's not what this is about. That's not what Pokemon's about. You should finish 999. And then you play Virtue's Last Reward. Yeah, he... I, I was, uh, in Discord when I got to the point where we removed him. I was like, this absolute madman removed his Wooloo from the party. That's how you know he... Like, he Hop was like... He was, like, shattered. His worldview was gone. He got depressed. Because, like, I gotta... I gotta be better. So he changed his team... He does get character development, but I don't think we needed 10 battles to do that. Man, we're almost at 500 with Yamper. Yeah, we we need to find we needed to fight a BD or whatever. How we say it more. You fight Swordward slash Shieldbert more at, at, at like at least as many times as him. We need to beat up the insufferable characters even more. Like the smug insufferable characters. We need to beat them up even more. Yeah, pretty much. I'm out of PP, I know. Bonnie made notes that Equius is not here. <laughs> Equius was in front at the start. It's for the greater good. Bonnie, have you seen what I've resorted to? Look how many deaths. Look at those big numbers. That's how many things I've killed. So much death. It's faster just... Maybe consider a heal. Eh, eh, you know. I'm being efficient with my time. Curry. Hmm. 
We're running a tight schedule, and by that I mean we're not. We're being efficient. We're not going into menus. Don't use money if you black out. Well, I'm not gonna go until I lose all my Pokemon. That'd be a bit much. I'm only down one Pokemon, almost two. Yeah, Hop, Hop, Hop's character concept was interesting, though. He did get good character development. Yeah, his entire goal and worldview is, like, completely taken away. Yeah, I was thinking that same thing, that, uh, BD is actually pretty important when you think about it, in regard to Hop. Because that set Hop down the path of, wait a minute, maybe I should just try to be, like, try to be, like, be, make my brother look good. That's all. That's, it's like, wait a minute. That's all my personality is. Maybe I should try to be myself for once. I think I should have killed it. Oh well. Dog. It was definitely the Pokemon Company. Listen to the fans. Yeah, it's been a while since uh, we've had a rival that wasn't just friends. I mean, for let's see. So Gen three, like Gen one was blue. It, you know, you know what blue is like. Then Gen 2 was silver, and yeah, it's silver. Gen 3, your rival was... Eh. Gen 4, there's Barry. Oh yeah, yeah. BD and Hop were like, if you take blue and genetically separate them into two parts. Yeah. Salt and liquid snake. Kind of. Yes, yeah, so let's see. Let's see, Gen 4, you have Barry, who's, uh... I mean, he's very reckless, but he is also a nice rival. Gen 5, you have Sharon, who's a bit headstrong. Gen 6, you have everyone ever. All your nice rivals. Yeah, Barry was a bit... Huh. And then you have How. How was great. In fact, he also had a somewhat similar character development as, ha as, uh, as Hop, actually. Which makes Hop even more of Diet How. How was great. Yeah, Brendan slash May. I really need to play through Gen 4 again at some point because I hate that I've forgotten so much about it. Oh, I forgot about N, yeah. How could I forget N? I need to play Gen 4 and 5 again. Yeah, N was good.
You think Hobbs a bit better than Howe? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I think a fair amount of people didn't like Howe either. They're both very similar characters. So I can see how people would like and dislike the various differences. How does have Lone Raichu? That is a good point. That is hard to dispute. They did kind of have the same motivation. Like how's like I need to like I need to prove myself. I need to prove myself for for, uh, what was his grandpa or so something? I forgot exactly what his relation was. And then there's, I'm gonna great to replace grandpa. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I mean, at, le at least for Hop, it's like, like, I want to be, I want to get good. I want to be great so I can lose to my brother because, you know, the champion's unbeatable. That, that is one of the things I'm like, really? When it came to the story of the game. Literally everyone ever is like, no one can beat him. The point of the gym challenge is to be the, be the best one so you can lose to the champion. Even, even, uh, even Leon's like, nice job getting you here. You're a worthy person to add to my winning streak. It's like, really, dude? How didn't have a Wooloo? That is also true. That is also true. It's hard to compare. They're both good. You know what? Next gen ultimate rival, Wooloo and Alolan Raichu. There you go. I've noticed a trend where the more deep I get into conversation with chat, the more I forget to add to the count. So let me check where we are with Yamper. Fluffy Raichu. Four seventy nine. Yeah, I think I have missed some of the count. Twenty one. Yeah, I've definitely missed a few counts on Yamper. Oh well. Just a few. Yeah, we're, we're getting to that 500 mark regardless. Oh yeah, that's not even counting the previous two streams of this. Why well, I have definitely. Guys, you're making good arguments for both, but... I don't think you can compare... Like, you can't really compare the two. They're both cute. Rallid is also good. That's a good point that round things are good. You gotta have round. Mercury is also a round bird. That's right. Borb, actually. Yes, you're right. Bird orb. Sphiel orb, yeah. Volt orb. It's in the name. Oh god, just remember, you know we had a uh, sports people in Gen 5? Just get a basketball player. And just have him have all the spherical Pokemon. I get a feeling that they probably had done some theming like that with those trainers, but... Or just not even just a basketball player. Just any sportsman. 
Spherical, yeah. This Tarantar served me very well, both in the Battle Tower and at times like this, because with the pink lighting of the sunset, it makes the Emperor look pink, so it's hard to tell if it's shiny. But because of the sandstorm, it balances out the color. We experienced this last time. But see, it looks very pink because of the sunset, but look. Color balance. Shiny one of the sparklings. I know, but... Look, this is why I have the game sound on still. Like the sound effects. So I would still hear it. I mean, Pink Yamper is subtle enough of a difference. We don't need the lighting to also... Mess with it. Pick you ever shaved Yamper? I mean, I guess. But only the the tan brown parts change color and like the ears very slightly. So you only shave parts of him. Have you seen what people do with cats? I mean you have a point. People also do weird things with dogs. Okay, look. Look, we're almost done murdering all these animals. See, look, 14 away and then we don't have to kill them anymore. We're almost done. Doesn't that account for anything? Surely that exonerates me from all, all the previous. I'm calling the weak and the weak, yes. So I'm crunching them. Just a few more. Sig Zaguna, on the other hand, we've got a long way to go. We're getting lucky with these spawns, though. So we'll be here sooner or later. Tasty, crunchy dogs. I mean, this Terran Terra is really good bite strength. It's like an alligator. I mean... I mean, like, for alligator. <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me show you the bite strength on this thing. No. Nope. Yeah, look at the bite strength on that thing. And combine that with the choice band. Crunch.
Yeah, look, look. If I just kill 14 more, then I'm done forever. You don't need to arrest me now. I'm, I'm done. I'm better now. Yay, nice. Thank you for the watts that I'm never going to use. Dog. I don't control the speed at which lobsters or dogs die. Yeah, it all depends on how fast they spawn. Look, we're almost done killing them, alright? Yeah, Choodle. Choodle's slow, but he's determined. Earlier on in the stream, he was just. Anytime one showed up, he, was just, he just kept going, kept chasing me. He'll eventually get there. Here. Look at this. Here they come. Ah, dang it. Up. Oh. Look out! They're coming right for us! Here he comes! Look out! Dog. He protect, he attack, most importantly, he chew. He attack, but he also slack. Get out of here, squirrel! What are you doing? Get old squirrels to leave pronto. We've only got a few more dogs left, I think. How many? Seven more! We gotta kill seven more dogs. Triple squirrel. <gasps> hey, you're not a you're not a dog, but you'll do for now. Yeah, little badger. Yeah, 
Get out of here, squirrels. Pestering these poor woodland creatures. Get out! Leave! Get out! All of you! Hold on, can we can we break the record of squirrels? Uh -huh. I had earlier eight squabbits in a row spawn the overworld. And that had that happened, but no shiny. Nice. That's a nice find. Hold on, there was a sale thing I saw at some point. Uh, where was it at? I just scroll really far for this one. Maybe it wasn't in the server. No, it wasn't on the server. It was a... Uh... It was some kind of sale on games. But it included Nintendo games, which is pretty cool. Because you don't normally get sales on Nintendo games at all. So since that one sale included it, would be like, wow, that's a steal. Normally I'd have to wait 10 years for it to go down by one cent. It was like a buy one, get one half off or something along those lines. Yeah, as soon as I found out Mudsdale was in this game, I'm like, alright, I'm going to get a Mudsdale with stamina, and then I'm going to solo the game with it, because that was the strategy for Sun and Moon. Just win the game, if you have that. Then again, the current speedrun route for Sword and Shield uses Drill Burr, or Excadrill. That's where I want to go. Five more. Actually, four more. Well, okay, I, I'm, I've missed seven Yamper uh, uh, during over the course of the stream, on the counter at least. Because early on the stream, like, alright, when I get to 257, I'll be at 500. But I've clearly missed a lot. Was <laughs> Dilsey pitting me for tech and attack? Pretty much. Right now, on, uh, on Mudsdale, I have a uh, body press. Which does more damage the Mort's defense is raised. Which, as it turns out, doesn't really help in raid battles much because it can just wipe your stat raises. Dang it, bike!
I hate the bike. It's turning radius is just awful. It's total garbo. To get my frustrations on this nicket. You protect, you attack, you can ride on his back. dogs here? Nah. Badger! There ye be. I just had a, a fun thought for a meme Pokemon team. They could use the battles. It's four Zigzagoon and a Moongus and an Ekans. Just send all those Pokemon out. It wouldn't likely do very well, but do it for the meme. I think we're at two dogs left. Oh, wait a minute. Aha, I heard you. Zigzagoon. We're reaching the end of this soundtrack. Throughout these Shining Streams, we've gone through all of Persona 5 and Paper Mario soundtracks. 
It's getting time we need to decide what to listen to next. My first thoughts go to Splatoon 1, because I've not played that, but I've heard the music is good. Double dog! Double dog! Yeah! Alright, now, then, once I double check that we are, in fact, at 500, then I can very quickly correct the, the number. on yeah fine I'll heal my Pokemon if you so insist All right, now we can now we no longer need to kill the dogs. We can just run from them now. I do have to kill the badgers, yes, cuz we're not at 500 encounter for them. Because now we're at max shiny chance for Yamper. And we're n like not even halfway there of Zigzagoon. Here, let me see. Yeah, we're not even halfway there. Got a lot of badger killing in our future. Hey, speaking about it, nope, don't go in the water. That's where we need to go, silly. Silly bike. I don't need to murder the dogs anymore. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a good quote. I, look, look. I almost, I got to the attack menu, but I didn't. I didn't kill, and that's what matters. It's muscle memory, that's all. You can't prove it, Judge. Yeah, here's a great award. You didn't kill the dog. Nice. You know, you can pet the dog? No, for me it's, you don't need to kill the dog. 
such high acclaim. <gasps> hey. Dark Souls does fail that, yes. It's like the equivalent of, uh, there's a website that tells you if, if in a movie the dog dies at the end. It's a whole database of movies that says whether or not it's safe to watch regarding that. Let me get... There we go. Let's get this thing going. I've not heard any of this music before, so this will be a treat. I heard a dog. Found you! Dog! That's squirrel, you better run. That's a lot of squirrels. I think I'm gonna go for another 10 minutes or so. It's not as long as the last time, but you know, we've reached a milestone. See, that's pretty dang good. Dog! That says four, but my reaction to seeing a yamper in this game is pretty much. A similar reaction to me seeing a dog in real life. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. In real life, I'd be like, there's a dog! Dog! It's summer saying one in this game because the spawn rate is so low. Yeah, splat. We're getting to the good stuff now. Am I squid or a kid? Yes. Hey, found you. Am 
Uh, Nocto. Well, it's Platoon 2 I am. Haven't played one. One was very unbalanced, oh. Uh... Oh right, damage up was a thing. That would explain it. Yep, that would do it. I mean, when they, when they introduced main power up in 2, it basically did the same thing for rollers. Didn't it? Unless I'm remembering that wrong. Took more work? Yeah. Yeah, main power up was different from everything, but I remember on rollers, it, I think it just did damage. Yeah, if the arrow spray had di more damage. Like, my blah 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 already did enough damage. Like, if you get directly hit on that, that thing would kill you one shot. If all the bubbles from one single shot hit you, that would kill you. I remember when the Blob Lobber first released. The first few days was just bubbles everywhere. That was mostly a thing where like, any time a new weapon released. But I think it was especially the bubbles. Because it's like, whoa, this thing can bounce around corners. Bonnie, please, it's like it's like a bathtub. Splatoon wouldn't resort to toilet humor, right? Right? It was basically a toilet. Who am I kidding? This fun little batch of spawns here. Done.
Squirrels, leave. Be gone. There we go. This sure is a soundtrack so far. Puppy. And I am curious about something, now they're at this point. Okay, yeah. I was just very curious. Like, I, I kind of already knew. <gasps> but I want to double confirm. Hey, 150. More badgers. I think we're at a good spot to end it for the day. We finally got Yamper up to the max shiny chance. And we are working on getting Zigzagoon up there as well. The dog murder is over. So. It's badgers all the way down now. Nope. 197, almost to the next threshold. Alright, yeah, but I think that will do it for today. Thank you everyone that showed up for the resub and all that fun stuff. I hope you all will join me next time where we might get something. Who knows? Alright, yeah, but that is it.
Thank you, everyone. And, uh, I will see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.